Okay, it just happens to be Sunday afternoon, May the 25th, 2014, otherwise known as Domingo by the Spanish. Sunday, Domingo, not Saturday. Oh, Dio mio. Yeah, and it o it's also Memorial Day weekend 2014. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Da, 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 the official da, da, beginning da, da. of summer. The unofficial beginning of summer, which means the beaches open up with lifeguards and all the morons uh, uh, crowd onto the major highways here in uh, northeastern New Jersey and South Jersey and, and spend hours fighting traffic to get down to that ripoff, major ripoff that Paying they call. to get on the beach. Major ripoff they call the Jersey Shore where you gotta pay a hefty cover charge to get on the beach. You gotta, uh, of course, you gotta pay for gas and tolls to get down there. And then you gotta pay to park your car. And you gotta pay to change into your bathing suit. And you're not allowed to bring food or drink on the beach because they want to the they want to sucker you in 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 a, in a um, like extortion Ooh. to get you to buy the rip off food on the boardwalk at at, at highway robbery prices mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's a whole it's it's a nothing but a big racket a scam just like everything else in. Uh, a deference to business as usual. In the United States, uh, as we know it, the uh, oligarch plutocracy, uh, the, uh, the, the fascist system we have where uh, companies are deregulated and the people have very little rights except to shop and get screwed. But nevertheless, it's Memorial Day. That's what George Bush told us after 911. What did he say? Just go out shopping. He said that after he read that book to the children's school during yeah, after the one one during the attack. Yeah. Well, I am going to let me formally before I start reading. Let me formally uh, complete the introduction. Welcome everyone to uh, uncensored, hard-hitting truth. I'm your host, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, and I am coming to you, we are coming to you live and recorded uh, from the Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey. And I will now pipe aboard my illustrious co-host and mentor and the very founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977 with my uh, authentic bosun's whistle. Started the dog. Is the same thing going to happen like last week? Last weekend? I don't know. The dog, the dog just yelped. Last Saturday, they was he was barking profusely until he got tired. But anyway, welcome aboard our um, hard-hitting truth, uncensored hard-hitting truth, Starship newsletter censored. The one and only, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this? Memorial Day weekend. Starship is heading for the Zeta Reticula area. The Zeta Reticula. To check out is that a galaxy? I put a nice photo of uh, when uh, Kirk and Spock were, were fighting on the planet Vulcan with that very, I saw it not. With the very attractive Vulcan woman in, the, in between them. That was the other day. That was Spock's wife, right? Ah! Yeah, I think that was... Spock took a wife? I think that was Spock's wife, and she I said... I thought he just needed her for, uh, you know, masturbatory... Uh, well, they only... Proclivities when he well, was in Palm Fear. Well, being being that they're so logical, without emotion, they, uh, they, they mate for procreation, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I think she complained that she hasn't seen Spock in a very Seven long years. time. But if she was, I'll be home in uh, seven years, honey. But if she was, if, if she was <laughs> all logic, why would that bother her? And then they had the uh, and the, long lived too. The the pow, the empress of the planet Vulcan, 
said with a with a Jewish accent, very heavy one. The weather is the weather. What can be done? That's when uh, Kirk was sucking wind during the fight. Was Maybe hot. they need the the harp system. Yeah, right. <laughs> but anyway, let me commence. Because I got some things here to read. American mainstream media will not mention the fact that the Republican Congress stopped the Veterans Health Bill. Yeah. Boy, it, it, how come that's not surprising to me? It's not at all. They obstruct everything. Look, the problem... The veterans! The no problem less. with the veterans situation goes back to the Revolutionary War and the the object in all of it is to cut to save money that's what it's all about but, but it's bad enough they pay them cheap to put their lives on the line exactly for wait, business wait for, a minute no 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 they do it for freedom for big oil our freedom oh yeah sure the last time uh, uh, our freedom was in jeopardy the last time the U United States borders were uh, threatened was uh, uh, Pearl Harbor right and the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. And it has been found out that the United States government knew right. about the attack before it happened. And it could have been prevented. They did not wish it, wish it to be prevented because they wanted to enter World War II. I mean excuses. So there you go. Smedley Butler. Schmedley, oh, uh, speaking of Schmedley Butler, uh, you can go back, uh, you know, it, like I said, the Revolutionary War, but even in the early 19th, 1900s, Schmedley was out there because the veterans wanted their bonus. Oh, yeah? And uh, uh, Schmedley was out there with them, standing shoulder to shoulder with them, and I believe it was Macafe or Dwight D. Eisenhower brought the tanks out against the veterans. Yes, it's been going on for a long time. So, Nothing new. So the veterans have been getting a shaft. Have been getting a shaft for a long time. They're suckers. Uh, war is a racket, like Smedley Butler said, to General Smedley Butler, and uh, you know. They're, whatever the, the recruiters tell them is a complete lie. Disregard that. There's a there's a malfunction when when yeah when we took it off the hook. I forgot to whack a certain button. In other words, it's sticky. Yes. Yeah. But um. It's a sticky wicket. It's a sticky wicket. You know, there's always something. If it's not a dog barking or an obnoxious child. Uh, it's what you're hearing now. There's always something that old Beazle Bug throws in front of us. I thought children were gifts from God. Not when they interrupt the show, they're not. Or dogs. Instead of being obnoxious. Yeah, yeah true, true. Uh, it'll stop soon. Um, what was I going to say? Um, it's there in front of you. Uh, I got. That thing is getting on my nerves. I got to wait till Nobody it Nobody can hear it. They can hear it. No, professionalism at all. Check it out tonight. I'll professionalism bet you it's not at all times. I'll bet you it ain't there tonight. Check all it right, out. It just stopped. Good. <clears throat> okay. British Petroleum. BP. BP. Gave. This was at the time. Mm -hmm. I didn't even notice. They gave uh, five million dollars to the Texas Governor's Office to kind of. Uh, get off their back or, or, or maybe to uh, hide certain information but they did donate five million dollars to uh, Texas governor's office there's a, the article is on our Facebook group uncensored hard-hitting truth and it goes into detail specific conversation but you know they did uh, grease someone's palm with five million dollars so you want to in Texas? You want to read the whole? Yeah, you want to read in the, Texas. All the politicians are greasy, especially when it comes to the oil industry. Yeah. 
the world J.R. Ewing's. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, researchers at, now this is funny. Researchers at Northwest and Princeton universities conclude that United States legislative policies exclusively favor the economic elite labeling the United States as an oligarchy. Duh! No kidding. Well, gee willikers. Gee. It, it, it took a, a, a research by two universities you know, to figure this out. Well, I'll bet you the Heritage Foundation and uh, the other right-wing think tanks will come up with some excuse. They don't like independent research, you know. No, because they're, they're afraid of what what um, of, of whistleblowing, yeah. spilling the beans, you know. All academics are liberal uh, 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 propagandists to them, yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh, I smell the lighter fluid now. There, there, there are goofballs that still use lighter fluid. They don't. They're not aware of a great invention called a. It's a. It's a chimney. It's a metallic object. Well, mine is made by Weber, and you just put newspaper underneath it and light it, and that's it. And you, you got a barbecue. And charcoal. You, yeah, charcoal. I use old-fashioned wood charcoal. You can use firewood, and there's no lighter fluid involved. So, but anyway. Like I try to explain to a friend of mine, use your firewood, get the chimney. What does he do? He goes and buys uh, the, the same shit that everybody is brainwashed to go out and buy the uh, Kingsford, Kingsford. Kingsford charcoal briquettes <laughs> and lighter fluid. Some people are just downright stupid, especially Americans. I mean, look at how many real like Republicans like Chris Christie so you know that if somebody's brainwashed by uh, nationally advertised commercials you know and just because they've done it their whole life that means you know no other way is better you know the same guy tells me oh I, I still buy Quaker Oats because I like the old man's face on the box he has a, a nice tr tr nice smile trusting smile what a stupid reason, you know, and, and, and that bartender from Pub 46 in Clifton, she says, oh, I voted for John McCain and Sarah Palin because I think Sarah Palin is cute. Only in America would, would idiots well, in line with get that. FaceTime. Not only do they get FaceTime, they, they have voting power. Well, not only that, they do FaceTime. It's, it's like... They're actually making a an honest statement. They believe. In other words, they expect their opinion to be valued, to be worth something. Yeah. No, not from an idiot. <laughs> not from an imbecile. Well, as I was telling you before. Or numbskull, my favorite word. The poorest county in the United States, Wolf County in Kentucky. They keep they 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 keep voting for Republicans. They're on welfare, they're on food stamps, they're on all on social security, they're all on stuff. They keep voting for Republicans. They don't get it. They, they believe, they, they have actually said in surveys that they believe that the Republicans are fighting for the same things <laughs> they want and need. The family values? Well, no, I'm talking about the, the actual uh, 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 money that's coming in. Welfare, food stamps, social security, etc. They believe the Republicans are fighting for those things. How brain them. dead are these Americans? Uh, unbelievable. Have you ever, ever heard of the uh, name Paul Ryan? Who wants to take away all those things from them? Well, the Koch brothers want to abolish Medicaid and Medicare. I mean, which is not new, not surprising. Of course not. What about the, those inbred uh, uh, right-wing fascists over in uh, North Carolina? North Carolina wants to arrest people for for whistleblowing on the frackers, the companies that are poisoning their water. Or interfering with their uh, their jobs. To mention to mention to what pollute the water. To mention what pollutants, what companies are fracking, you know, who's responsible for poisoning their water. Mm. So what North Carolina's politicians that are paid off of course, but what, what they want re in reality is for you to Keep quiet, 
Shut up. Shut up. Consume the water. Poison yourself. Die an early death. Yeah. Then you, you won't know. have to have a Medicaid. And then they don't have to and worry Medicare. about Medicare and Obamacare and Medicaid yeah. and whatever. Yeah. Because you'll be dead. Yeah. You know? Well, that's the same thing they like uh, uh, in the VA. They would wish that those soldiers would die on the battlefield and not come back home and make trouble for them and cost money. You mean come home in a body bag? That's what Republicans want. So, so they, the Republicans, the fascist plutocracy caused by Republicans want people to accept being victims, keep quiet, and if you must die, die quietly. And if you need a job, die. they want to pay you a dollar an hour. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe they want you to compete with someone overseas who's getting 13 cents an hour. Okay, but then that American would have no choice but to live in, in, in a, in a uh, cardboard box. And you gotta, Correct. Because you can't live Correct. anywhere, anywhere on, the, on, a, on a Bangladesh salary. Republicans do not understand anything about relativity. The poor in this country have air conditioners. Da. That's common. Exactly. Because things have changed since the days of old. When Hey, in the days of old, even kings didn't have flush toilets. Hey, the women, the women during the Victorian era, they would be covered up right up to their chin, wearing petticoats. They didn't show any flesh, and they'd be sitting on the front porch with, with hand-held fans doing this. And, and they, they had... Should and, been, they should have been fanning them down there. Yeah. They, with all the clothes. And, and, and a lot of them wore big hats. They're, <laughs> and they're all covered. I mean, and the men wore jackets. I mean, how did they survive? I mean, they must have stunk to high heavens. Well, who was the King Henry VIII? They never took a bath or something. Well, you know, well, something the, like the that. public water was, in the Middle Ages was always contaminated, so they had to drink ale. And what about the Ganges today? And beer and wine and booze. Oh yeah, right. You know. of contaminated. But anyway, hey, jump into the into the shit pool. pool. Yeah, and, and, and that's where they, they float the bodies too, right? Yeah, the bodies they have too, a funeral yes, yes. and they, you know, yes. they bury, instead of burying them at sea, they bury them at Ganges. Yep. Well, anyway, moving on. It's really, it's really uh, unbelievable, uh, like, the situation. I mean, uh, um, uh, Woody Harrelson, actor Woody Harrelson wrote a, a long poem that it kind of was based on everything that's happening today and uh, another gentleman posted a, a created a banner which at the end says I don't recognize my country anymore I don't recognize the United States at all with all this corruption and 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 fascism that's going on the, the police state and he says I don't recognize the United States mm -hmm. and, and, and it's truthful you know uh, it's bad situation. It is the end times, people. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on. I'll leave something positive for last. Oh. Rand Paul, it's not last, so. Boy, how positive can this be? No, it's not positive. Oh. Rand Paul is single-handedly, ha has been blocking the United States Swiss tax treaty that will root out a few hundred fat cat tax evaders. Uh -huh. Going after them Swiss bank accounts. But guess what? I'll, I'll give you a, 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 I'll take a wild guess and say it's the Democrats that are going after those fat cat tax evaders, several hundred, and not the Republicans. Because Rand Paul is, is, has been blocking it. He, he's been leading the block of the U.S. Swiss Tax Treaty. And the people in Wolf County in Kentucky would still vote for him. Okay? Yeah, because uh, two people, like uh, uh, people that we know, there's not a lot of them, but they're from Kentucky. What do you think? And they know how their state is. They know, you know, they're, they're, they're progressive, surrounded by a bunch of right-wing nuts. Exactly. But what do you... Uh, what do you think, uh, I, I think it was in the Dodd-Frank bill, uh, where uh, 
to follow to find the terrorists and everything and follow their money etc you know it was going to be in the bill to do that and that was nixed because you know why mm, yeah. because more than the terrorists are hiding their money that's why so they don't want that to have you know nosing around in my swiss bank account no, you know no. They like that offshore oh, yeah. stuff, that racket they got going. Oh yeah, you know, and 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 probably not paying heavy tariffs when they bring the products back. They don't pay any from outsource, outsource American jobs from from China, and 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 Bangladesh. I bet they're not paying any tariffs. No, no, they're not, and they're not paying any taxes. Why? Because is it? they say that the money was made in some stupid uh, uh, mail. Uh, 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 industry that doesn't exist. Well, you know what I mean? The money I got, was made over there, so we don't have to pay any taxes here in the United States. I gotta do a little Bill Clinton. Why doesn't uh, uh, Barack Obama and or Joe Biden come clean on national TV and Blow the whistle on the Republicans mentioning all these things that we talk about. Because they're all corporatists and they all believe the same. Okay? So there's a whole lot of palms getting greased, is what you're trying to say. There's a whole lot of palms and brains being greased. Because you... Uh, As in brainwashing? Well, going back 238 or 237 years, whatever it is, to, in this country, it was Hamilton and etc. The country should be ruled by the plutocrats, not by some democratic uh, riffraff. Oh, Alexander Hamilton? Uh, oh, most like, of them like the idea? Of course, he was a big proponent of the he's idea. The one, he's the one that got shot in the duel, right? He should have got shot in his nose before the duel. So, all, so when I went to school, uh, all the history books, the textbooks that that uh, glorified the founding fathers uh, yeah. and made them all like great heroes, never mention about the genocide of Native Americans stealing everything from them, their land, their culture. Never mention them keeping slaves. Never mention uh, them uh, th them preferring a plutocracy. Oh no, they the textbooks that were paid by the taxpayers' money, made the Founding Fathers look like heroes. And incidentally, in my opinion, a whistleblower is a patriotic hero. Exactly. Exactly. Then why is Mr. Snowden over in Russia? Right. Exactly. Thank you. Now, the last one is positive, and and it deserves a salute. By the way, I'm going to add that there. Why isn't Clapper in jail? You mean? lying to Congress about the NSA spying. Oh, yeah. And the uh, extent and etc. Why uh -huh. ain't he in jail? That's America for you. Snowden, they want to throw in jail. Yeah. Clapper, they, you know. I think he apologized. That's about it. Well, yeah. you know why... Um you know why Bernard Madoff is the only Wall Street uh, guy who... Well, uh, he wasn't even Wall Street. Wasn't he even was Wall just Street. an independent, you know... Yeah. Well, he's... Guy who came up with a scheme for investment. He's That's in prison and they threw away the key because he ripped off the 1%. Exactly. Not one Wall Street big honcho went to jail. Just, Not one. Just the protesters. The, as far as I know, they're trying to put a lower level guy in prison. Yeah. But none of the big... You know, you got, um, you know, they're, they're also heroes too, by the way. All, all the Occupy protesters, whether it be Occupy Monsanto or Occupy Wall Street, uh, all of these protesters are freedom fighters for the little guy. And But again, here's the thing about this uh, country setup. If we want a law to be passed or do some good, some kind of progressive thingy dingy be we have to protest. But Alec just pays, you know, greases some palms in Congress and they get the law they want. 
Yeah, because they have we the money. They, they have the money to pay people off. Exactly. And that's how it's done. Okay. Um, the last one is positive. Yay! It's, it's, it's positive, but it also exposes the United States at the same time. But it's very positive. Deutschland. Deutschland, die Welt. That's your your heritage. <laughs> Germany is giving away their surplus of renewable energy since they are producing so much yeah. in overabundance. And they plan, Germany plans on being totally independent by 2050. 50? So, completely independent. I think it'll be before that. It might be before that. Damn right. That's conservatively saying because they're they have already office buildings that are totally independent of what, what would you say fossil fuels yeah petroleum oil whatever it's like total green the country might very well be the first totally green country in the world mm -hmm. just like uh, the country of Bhutan Bhutan is the first totally organic country in the world Germany will be the first total green country and I want to salute Deutschland all German people in uh, Germany for having the courage to uh, stand up to the uh, world's elites and doing this something like this mm. pushing you know uh, 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 avoiding corruption and uh, pushing for a, uh, a totally green country alternative fuel not to mention that Germany also is a big leader in alternative medicine. So I want to salute yes, Germany. Yes, they respect homeopathy over there, along with France and, and uh, India yeah. and etc. Other countries. Homeopathy. Over here, we prosecuted them. Was homeopathy invented 200 Germany. years? Germany. 200 years ago in Germany. Sa uh, Samuels. And then it went over to uh, Great Britain and Scotland, where, you know, they worked on it. But I salute Germany and I also, for the second time, because this is a holiday week, holiday weekend, I salute my close and dear friend from Osaka, Japan, Miho. Hello. Miho. Say hi to Miho. Hello, Miho. Osaka, Japan. Yeah, Osaka. Osaka, Japan, where Mr. Fuji was from. Uh -huh. Professional wrestler and later manager, Mr. Fuji. I also salute Mr. Fuji. He's still he's still alive, Mr. Fuji. Why don't you salute Mr. Miyagi too? While you're oh, he's passed away. Yeah, he's not around. You know, yeah. Pat Morita has, has died a while ago. Yeah. Mr. Uh, the actor. Someone was telling me today that some uh, musician died. He was the Ar the original yes, Arnold of the Happy Days, you know, huh? Some musician died. A famous well musician? Music, yeah. I, I haven't heard anything about it. So if you hear something, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not aware of it. I didn't my, see anything in the old my, bits. My grandmother used to say, famous deaths come in threes. Ah. Uh, you don't believe in. I don't believe in superstition. He's crap. not superstition. He's he, right. he's a man of science. Right. I believe in superstitions. Well, my grandfather used to call them stupid stitions. There you go, stupid stitions. So, uh, well, getting back to uh, before we begin, <clears throat> the beginning. Before we sink our teeth into the, uh, our readings for uh, Memorial Day weekend of 2014, I just want to show you that. Everything you've heard about trickle-down economics was a lie. There is no trickle-down economics. What we have is siphon, siphon up to the wealthy top 1% economics. Siphon up economics. Nothing's trickling down. Even Pope Francis says there's no trickle-down. Because the water doesn't get a chance to trickle down. It you know, goes up. Siphon, siphon, siphon. This is a siphon, by the way, for you people that don't know what this is. Siphon up economics, all right? I forgot to use it last week. <laughs> so I'll overdo it. Siphon up economics. You got it, people? You got it, uh, 
you numbskulls out in the red states that will probably never see the light. <laughs> it's funny how something that is is true and has been going on for years and etc etc and then someone like Pope Francis like you just mentioned uh, puts it forward and it's like wow you know people, it's nothing new people like to listen to leaders that are in the spotlight they like to listen to people that are well known they they, they can't you know people yeah, have official trouble them. If, it, if it doesn't them. come from officialdom it, it's not worth it people anything. have trouble thinking for themselves. <laughs> Let me salute Pope Francis. The only Pope, well, who was the Polish guy? John Paul II? John Paul II. He was cool. He was a nice guy, but this Pope. He caused the wall to fall, not Reagan. Yeah, well, okay. I, this guy is by far, in my opinion, the best Pope in the history of the Roman Catholic Church. He's a poopy Pope, man. He's no poop. This Pope is no poop, Pope Francis. Salute him. And he's riding around in his his Pope mobile without any no bulletproof glass. No bulletproof glass, because he has compassion and empathy for the poor. When he was in Brazil, the he had none. the Pope mobile took a uh, wrong turn, and it was totally what's the word I want here inundated by people. You mean they were nice, the Brazilians? No, they were crushing to the car. Oh, the Brazilians were yeah. attacking him? Not attacking, wanting to, you know, see him get you close mean to they're him. clamoring to clamoring, be close? Clamoring, yeah. They love him. They love him. I, I mean, I, I, can't, I, I know why, but, you know, he's... The guy, uh, he hasn't uh, made his pilgrimage to New York City yet, has he? I don't think he's come here yet. I believe he was in Washington. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah because I think but, so. yeah, because Obama didn't go to him. He didn't go to Vatican City. So it must yeah. have been that, that he came to Washington. Well, that's nice. And I know Washington needs an, uh, the Capitol building needs a an exorcism. He should have done an exorcism <laughs> <laughs> to the Capitol building because uh oh, wait a minute. what are my yeah. levity bells? Washington needs an exorcism. The Congress, the House and the Senate are in different buildings. Oh, so really? you need the exorcism in those also. That, really? Yeah. The Senate is actually a separate... The Capitol is on a hill. That's why they call it Capitol Hill. Capitol Hill. But the Senate is in a different building. How about that? Because I, I just because, learned this. Because the Congress will often say, "We're going up to the hill." Yeah, where the, they where where the president has invited us or whatever, you know. The, where the the Republicans barely show up because they're on vacation all the time. <laughs> and that's doing their job, according to those poor suckers down in Wolf yeah. County, Kentucky. I was te off the air. I was telling. Uh, Dr. Bill, that I asked him, what's what's uglier than Mitch McConnell's face, oh. and and he says, what can be uglier than that? I says, Mitch McConnell's smiling face, where he's smiling from ear to ear. He's the ugliest right wing corrupt motherfucker <laughs> that you would ever lay eyes on. But he won his primary. That doesn't surprise me. Against the Tea Party. All of them are stupid, inbred, red state, uh, uh, evangelical cultists. You know, the zealot, evangelical, religious nut cultists mm -hmm. over, the, over, the, over yonder, over there in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Made sure he won the primary. It's very unfortunate that yep. Daniel Boone and uh, what's the other guy? Davy Crockett. Davy Crockett came from there. Well, Kentucky. also uh, bourbon whiskey. If they're famous for bourbon whiskey. They're famous for uh, Churchill Downs, the Kentucky Derby. Kentucky Derby. 
and also uh, smoked mutton is a, a is a specialty in Louisville. That's a Scotch thing, ain't it? Well, mutton is a full or grown Australian. Mutton is a full grown sheep as opposed yeah, yeah. to a lamb. But Smoke. that's an Australian dish or a uh, Scotch dish. Yeah. No, I, saw, I saw it on uh, the Travel Channel. Uh, um, I think Andrew Well, Zimmer. then it has to be true. If you saw it on the Andrew Travel Zimmer, Channel. the guy that looks like Elmer Fudd or Humpty Dumpty, he was in there, he was having it, and it was uh, smoked low and slow like Southern Barbecue is, uh, you know, uh, for 10, 14 hours of smoking, yeah, yeah. and you don't have to worry about, about a tough piece of meat when you're smoking it. 10 to 14 hours right away you know it's memorial day weekend so barbecue talk is is yes, allowed food, food talk yeah. by the way speaking of food talk there's another food channel called cooking channel yeah billy morrow 166 yeah, yeah in our optimum any table. anybody popular over there i can't get it oh well, maybe i only have the family basic well you know, we don't have family. so we don't have so package either we have well and you ain't gonna get it no. I got enough cooking shows well of course you ever put on channel 133 create channel that is all cooking all day I'm long. not a, I'm not a fan of the food channel um, too much hype even though I, I the only one I like from the food channel is I think Guy Fieri and um, but it's just, just so much Pretent, yeah. pretentious hype and the only one that I used to watch on Giada's is a nice movie. Sunday night is nice was when they did the food truck races oh yeah, yeah. the uh, the the food competition you know where the chefs compete and you have a bunch of panel of snooty a panel of snooty judges ah. that take a little little tiny bit of artistic looking food on a big plate and uh, read too much into it you know uh, of course Iron Chef Morimoto never ever to my knowledge lost or got criticized and put down by anybody and he also has a restaurant in Philadelphia Pennsylvania he's over there right next door to the uh the, uh, what's that famous sandwich? Don't bring that up. That that Philadelphia cheesesteak. Philadelphia cheesesteak. Where those steak. those people, those cheapskates over With there, cheese whiz. are using cheese whiz and Velveeta, or cheese whiz? That crap. That's not real cheese. No, That's processed, is. toxic garbage. Is what it is. I I get Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. Real cheese on, it. you know. Really? Uh, I haven't met a real cheese I didn't like. Uh, I did. Real it's cheese. It's called Limburger. I ate that. I don't. You don't like stinky cheese? No, I don't like stinky cheese. You, you like Stilton, uh, uh, Gorgonzola? Stilton blue, is a uh, blue, chem blue. No, I don't like blue. Oh, I love uh, chunky blue cheese salad dressing. Yeah. Oh, I love it. But um. Yeah, low and slow. You gotta love it. Um, I'm having. Uh, I'm not really. I'm not really going anywhere today. So I'm having broiled salmon. Tomorrow's the holiday. Yeah, well tomorrow. Yeah, I can't understand. It's retail, retail uh, sales, but I'm not. They they put the they put Memorial Day on the twenty sixth, a Monday. For the three-day weekend, but if you would have just let it go, it falls on a Friday. Another three-day weekend. What's the big deal? For some reason, they want all of the the national holidays falling on a Monday, for so the friggin' blood-sucking retail industry yeah. can have their holiday sales, and everybody can just rush out to all the stores and. Imagine, in, in their deluded mind, imagine that they're actually getting a sale. Yeah. A buy. A buy. I'm getting a, a buy. A great deal. Speaking of buy. I buy on, I go to googleshopping.com, I go to or Amazon, 
or eBay. Well, if you go to Google Shopping, it might send you to eBay or Amazon. Mm -hmm. And you just click on lowest price to highest, and you order it. And lots, some, quite often, the shipping is free. Anyway. Remind me later after the show uh, about a great buy at uh, National Wholesale okay. Liquid. Okay. Yeah. Their coconut oil is not bad. It's not too badly priced. It does not involve coconut oil. It's not coconut oil? Wait. What about ghee? No ghee. Ghee is for me. It's a machine. A machine. That I might, might be interested in. Uh, beware. Unless oh. it's a, a brand name product, appliance. Oh. Beware of unknown electrical appliances purchased at National Wholesale Liquor. There goes my confidence. So, me lord, me lord. So, um, Hall of Shame. Chisler's Hall of Shame. Um, British Petroleum. Of course, of course, or any right-wing Republican politician that we've mentioned, <coughs> of course, are, are permanently embedded in the Chisler's Hall of Shame. And uh, they can't get out. Yeah, let's see. They're in there for good. Uh, oh, the American media, definitely, definitely a member of Chisler's Hall of Shame. The American media for dummying up and... They wouldn't know the truth if they tripped over it. Never mention any, any discouraging word about any Republican at all or any big business. Even if the truth bites them right on the nose. Well, it's just two different ideas of and, how and the, the country should work. Including the, 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 the demon Rand Paul. The demon Paul. Chisler's Hall of Shame. Demon Paul. Yeah. Ooh. Benny Blake must be on a uh, on a hiatus, on a vacation. He, he said he doesn't have any uh, consumer. Or he's run out. He, he, right now he's been so busy working and he doesn't have anything new. All right. So, all right. That's why you haven't seen the Iron Man Vinny Blake on our show. He, he just, you know, like you hear, you've heard of writer's block. Well, we got venting. He might have empty pants. Venting Vinny Block. What? He might have empty pants. Could be. That's what Mid, I believe it was in Mitch McConnell yeah. called uh, Alice Lundgren Grimes, his uh, Democratic challenger. He called her an empty dress. Empty dress. Yeah, is that like, um, is that like uh, um, uh, Dick Cheney saying that, uh, that they should subpoena Hillary Clinton, the bitch? Meanwhile, he, him, and, and, and the dimwit, G.W. Bush, war crimes. Are, the, are the most guilty of all politicians in America. What what a hypocrite for him to say something like that. Uh, hypocrites are always saying things like that. Especially Republican hypocrites. They should subpoena Hillary Clinton. Come on. He, he's got so many skeletons in his closet that, that you couldn't fit a, a, a pin in his closet. What did uh, what about Job in the Bible? He couldn't see where he was wrong. See? That sounds That's like the same with that. That sounds like the Tea Party morons that vote Republican. Like they, right. he couldn't see the light. So, he couldn't see the light oh. if it was a train coming through tunnel. That's right. All right, now let us sink our teeth into these readings. See how much time we got left before lunch. Lunch and then Billy Morrow. Oh, jeez. We got maybe time for one reading? It depends on how long, I guess. Alright. Let's try a little guy right here for now. Yeah, try, yeah, okay. Worried about upsetting Switzerland's strong economy? Or driving its high costs even higher? More than three quarters of Swiss voters rejected a plan on Sunday to create the world's highest minimum wage. 
Oh, in Switzerland too? Oh, a, really? A tally by Swiss television showed that with votes counted in all 26 of the Alpine nation's cantons, the Swiss trade union's idea of making the minimum wage 22 Swiss francs, $24.70. But that's how it is in Denmark. Per hour was defeated. Oh, was defeated. By greater than a three to one ratio. You mean make to make it the highest minimum wage was, was defeated. Was defeated. That's Shame right. on you, Switzerland. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, well, Den Denmark right. is 20, uh, the, uh, a McDonald's employee in Denmark is like $21 an hour, give or take. They drank the Kool-Aid about it, uh, you know, going to cost jobs. Ah, nonsense. Of course it's nonsense. The, look, the Big Mac in, in Denmark, the Big Mac is 56 cents U.S. dollars, and the, and the employees get like 21 an hour. It's not hurting business at all. Remember, wages are tax deductible. However, mm -hmm. if the company is not paying any taxes, like 60% of corporations in this country, they have nothing to save. So, you know, cutting wages. In, in fact, Google, Intel, uh, 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 I, I'm not sure if it was Yahoo, but two other com companies, along with them, were caught trying to, if they have engineers working yeah. for them, and they do, they were trying to get together to make a deal amongst themselves mm -hmm. that they would only pay their engineers so much, so that an engineer from one company could not abscond, abscond. from the other country because, the company, because another company was going to pay them more. Because the other companies were going to pay the same. They were caught. Cartelling. Or whatever. That's how much American companies and etc. believe in competition. They do not. Thank you. No, they, they, uh, no, they want, they, they want, they love monopolies. Exactly. Despite the fact that Ronald Reagan used to talk against monopolies. Oh, Ronald Reagan. The government, government is not your salvation, it's the problem. Sure. Government is, is the problem. How do, you, how do you get all the things we take for granted accomplished in running a country without government programs and government Departments, you know, how do you get things done that are well, important? Well, even if you have those departments, you what you do is you put in your lack lackeys, dopes, etc., so that those departments do not run correctly. You mean like 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 uh, Mr. Shinsenki right now with the VA? Yeah, and 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 social services in America. Correct. Food stamps, the welfare. Correct. They're 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 designed. Not to to really work at all for the people they're supposed to. Yeah, they 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 they, they make you uh, they wear you down. They wear people down, mm -hmm. so they just get uh, because they know that probably one third or so will not come back. Yeah, so they get uh, discouraged and humiliated enough to just give up. That's correct. That's correct. You know. Um, um, Actually, the, the, the gentleman that uh, that Billy Morrow and, and myself interviewed, that uh, he's still missing like three months of food stamps, hmm. and they said it's a glitch and they're working on it. Yeah, uh, the, the, he's uh, you know they wanted him to come in to the office and and and, um, and apply all again, all, yeah, again, exactly. all over again, and he 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 was so. Uh, frustrated, he says, "I give up. I'm not going to go in. I'm not going to do it. Because when you go in, you have to wait and wait and be humiliated. 
The whole thing is humiliating. It's designed to humiliate you. And he says, I give up. I ain't going to do it. Exactly. So that's what they want. I I told the person, don't let them win. win. They want you to quit. That's right. They want you to give up. Now, if possible, I think that everybody involved in those things, like the social services center, should require yeah. a copy of everything that goes down. Everything. Then they can't do that. Well, they give it. They send you. They send. They 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 mail people a like an invoice type of uh, sometimes. Well, I don't think they send everything. That states what you're going to get, which isn't much. But they could drop. lose that. They could lose Well, that. yeah, you have to, you, know? you got to be very careful, very cagey. You got you to gotta pay attention to money coming in. Like, for instance, if, if you deposit any money that you don't report and you forget about it. Yeah, but that's if you're in the program. I'm talking about before you get into the program. When you apply, oh, they automatically. I want copies of everything. Yeah, yeah, they, they yeah, they. Then when they say, oh, uh, you have to reapply. Oh, all right. See, here's my application. Why should somebody reapply if all of the same information is already in their computer system? Uh, we lost it. Oops, it's a glitch. That's right. Blame it on the glitch. A letter writer talked about how Governor Christie, Governor of New Jersey, yeah, they, I'm sure people know him, gave a most eloquent and lofty speech about American exceptionalism. Yeah, that that's a way of uh, of uh, that's a big uh, like a football coach pep talk to get poor people to uh, help themselves. So. It's, so they don't have to apply for welfare. I, I know all the tricks of Republicans. I didn't listen to it because I, I, I don't, I don't, I have no value in that man at all. That statement could not be any further from the truth. We have seen how sick patients needing simple medical access to marijuana have been unable to do so because of New Jersey state regulations. One baby girl was unable to try a strain and formulation that has saved other children with Dravet syndrome. Other patients cannot qualify, live too far from the three dispensaries, or cannot afford the high cost and fees. To rub salt in the wound, the governor often mocks them by saying, they just want legalization. There are other examples of a governor with no moral values or exceptionalism. But this is really the cruelest. Yeah. Good, good article. Yeah, he's um, definitely uh, he's quite a character to say the least. <laughs> But people suffer when these characters get their way. A lot of people suffer, believe me. I mean, I mean, I don't. I'm. I'm not sure what other states in the U.S. that have welfare, what the people receive there. But in New Jersey, these poor souls get only a hundred and forty dollars a month. Now, and then and, they and, complain about <laughs> dependency. I mean, I mean, where where do you expect these people to live in? In a tree house? In a, in a cardboard box? I mean, one hundred and forty dollars a month. I mean, it, 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 in the twenty first century, in two thousand and fourteen, near any major city in, in the United States, that's nothing. That's Microsoft. Well, it goes back to me saying I've said so many times it, uh, it makes me sick. They do not want you to get off welfare. If they wanted you to get off the uh, 
uh, welfare, it would be like the Bible says. Give your two coats to the poor. Yeah. In other words, make them independent so they don't have to be on welfare. Well, corporations, I think corporations actually like it when America is in a state of poverty, so to speak, and people are, are down and out. Because I think they their plan of suckering them into into uh, a life of almost slavery is Remember more... Remember one of the flaws of capitalism. More realistic. The yeah. capitalist will never hire you for what you're truly worth. Because you have to make a profit for him. So as long as they can hire you for even way less than you're worth, they love it. They love it. Yeah. There was a, a big banner held. held <coughs> excuse me. There was a big banner held up at one of the uh, Monsanto uh, rallies, uh, uh, events, uh, uh, protest events, uh, and uh, it pretty much says that you know we're all, all the evils that Monsanto is responsible for. Capitalism is the root cause of what Monsanto does and has been doing, and and yeah. Unfortunately, all the fingers do point to capitalism as being the root cause of all these evils. Yeah. Now, what are we going to do about it's it? It's not God's economics. What are we going to do about but it? But they lied to us when we grew up and made it sound like it was godly to That's right. capitalism. And capitalism is worship. And waving the flag and all this patriotic, you know, mumbo-jumbo... Uh, Stars and strikes you know what forever. All that is? What? Idolatry. According to the Bible. It's all idolatry. You mean the symbol of the flag? Worshipping those symbols. Money. Putting material things first. Like there was another banner that, that criticized people for putting uh, importance and value in, in all these um, uh, nationally advertised corporate products and designer this and designer clothes and designer like all all these um, items of prestige that was created by the corporations in advertisement to make you brainwashed to think that owning that product that they make is very important it makes you a different person it makes you a better person it makes right. you different it makes you accepted yes and that or above accepted or or an elitist there you go, yes. that's the same mentality that ignores What's that, what the little alligator on your shirt oh no well, that's not that's a swordfish oh you mean the other shirt the, the alligator on the shirt oh what? the eyes odds eyes odds well that was they were given to me hey i wouldn't I'm not talking about yours i wouldn't spend my, no I mean this, your collectively my, my sister and brother-in-law just got back from the florida keys so she gave me two shirts uh, I'm wearing this is called this is a uh, a mahi mahi fish uh, or the Spanish called it dorado It's very tasty uh, and um, you know uh, I figured what the hell Jesse Ventura is, is starting to wear t-shirts on his show uh, uh, called off the grid so why not me you know he wears all kinds of tie-dye fancy schmancy t-shirts so what the hell? I'll wear it. If it's good enough for Jesse, it's good enough for me. Okay, it is time for the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman's gastronomic delight known as lunch. And I will now join William H. Morrow III for my meeting with him. And you're in for a treat, of course, with Billy Morrow, our uh, voiceover artist. And while Dr. Bill is eating, then I will return later. And, of course, after our promo, after our commercial, done by Bill Morrow, we will return to the balance of this holiday show for Memorial Day weekend 2014. Okay, and I just want to thank the Renaissance Man Can Create. I performed with him at the Ivanhoe Artists and the Museum, this historic museum in Patterson, New Jersey, yesterday. It went very well, you know. He did his thing as he normally does. Uh, creative dance.
that's creative mime, magical mm -hmm. props, and I played my African drum. The dancing cane. Yes, well, more, a lot more than the dancing cane. I see. But I, and I played my African, the djembe drum. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. You ready? All right. Okay, I'm here with William H. Moore of the third. Now, Billy, do you remember uh, that gentleman that um, did not receive uh, his uh, food stamps for like almost three months? It was on his, um, or is it four months? Uh, he's a guy we both know. I'm not going to name names. Yes. He still has it. It will be three months at the end of this month. The end of this it, it month. It will be three months on the second of next month. Right. And he, he told me on the second. It'll be three months on the second of, of uh, June. Right. And he received the call from a caseworker, I think a caseworker supervisor, and the caseworker told the gentleman that he's going to have to come in and, and, and reapply well, all over my again. My reapplication, which was sent in by a friend of mine, my advocate, said it had expired, it was sent in too late, which is not true. Number one, the reason that the food stamps come Stop coming from my buddy. They screwed up. They said we had a problem in the mail room and a glitch on our computer. Now, if that's their mistake, why should my friend suffer? Absolutely. And they have to make him come in and reapply. The whole, this is not right. It is not fair. And I know myself, I've had to take friends down there. Yeah. I, I detest waiting down there. I've sat while my friends were there for hours. They tell them, pick a number. You know, a whole room will sit. Oh, they're very nasty to people. It's just not... They're degrading. They're very degrading. It's just not... Uh, yeah, it, you're right. Because of a glitch in the system with the, with the state... Uh, uh, Let me interrupt you real quick. Why should a, a, somebody needing help suffer because of their mistakes? I mean, and sadly, a lot of the employees I think we've seen in these government bureauc bureaucratic offices they love having the upper hand because they know you need them. If you don't like it, go. I could never be that way. I'd bend over backwards, calling people at home, saying, is everything all right? What's going on? Follow-ups. They. The bottom line is they really, that's a job to them. They're not fit to do the job, most of them. I've, I've met some wonderful ones, you know, and... Uh, They're on a power trip. They, they love having that upper hand to hold you down. Yeah. And that is wrong. People the people are there for one thing. They need help and they're already suffering. Do they need to suffer more now with your little power hunger ship as you have right. the so-called power over them? Now, and humiliation. Do you enjoy hurting people? Personally, no, I hate I hate so it. So what are you right. getting out of it? Not you, but I mean them, them, them yeah. What are you getting out of it? Are they You're getting hurting people? Are they getting any more money? Oh, oh what, maybe they're um, maybe they're they're either told to do it or maybe they do it because they think they're they're saving the government money no, Jimmy, by turning I, people down no, or Jimmy, because I took a fr I took a couple of friends down there yeah and a couple of the guys and girls that work there were absolutely wonderful yeah I know some real yeah. there are so I can't say the whole thing is wrong no it's just that a lot of them make you so uncomfortable and I told my friend I said what the hell's going on down here I said my God the attitude yeah I said, what Poor attitude these people have, and uh, and it could be them. It could happen to anyone. Anyone could lose their job and then lose their home and well, and, and end up on welfare. Look what, I, look what I went through, losing everything at that Screwed time. By my yeah. lawyer and everything else, I mean, everything taken from me, all my money, everything. Yeah. I trust. Why? Because I trusted people. Right. But enough of my story. But it could happen. It could happen to a, it. could happen at any could, time to anyone. Any one of those caseworkers can get laid off. Okay, remember when, for another quick example, remember for the Kennedy assassination, the first person shot was my dad's very good friend in the front seat, Governor Connolly of Texas back then. John Connolly, yeah. Wealthy. He lost everything, as you said. He put all his money into oil. I can never forget because it shocked me. They had a massive auction. It was gorgeous. His entire mansion and every single thing that was in it, all his belongings auctioned off. He lost everything. He lost everything. I've lost 
everything. A lot of other people out there, like you said, have lost everything. It could happen to you. So, hey, for God's sakes, dude, there are people unemployed that have PhDs and they can't find a job. So, what makes a caseworker think they're so almighty and powerful? And, and indestructible. Well, you know? It's also like we say with some of the places we go, especially the fast food, some of the attitudes that wait on you. A lot of them, are, the kids are fun, a lot, you know, blah, blah, blah. Some are sour as can be, and I've told a number of them, be pleasant. Remember, you're an actor or an actress, whether you feel like it or not. You never know who you might be waiting on. Someday. That's true. That's and very true. I let somebody might say, I like your style. I want you to work for me. You never know. And you, we all know it has happened many times around the world or the country throughout history over the decades and years. It'd be nice. You never know. And even if it doesn't work on that person, they're still rude and mean. Don't take a person and hold your head up high that at least you didn't lower yourself to their level and be mean. That's true. You know, Always maintain your be profession. The bigger, be, the bigger, be the bigger person. Because if you maintain being professional and a high class human being, like you said, you never know who you're going to be waiting for. You don't know. You don't know who it could be. You know, it could be like, a producer, it could be a banker, it could be a corporate CEO. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You don't and, know. And getting back to the original topic, why should any human being suffer for the government's glitches in the system? It's it's ridiculous. Because they have the upper hand. Because you, you need them. They don't care. It, Come in and take a number. You're, so it's either you... We screwed up. Come back and reply. It's either you or there's millions of you others. Like you don't like it, don't bother. Because, because there's probably millions of others, especially with the economy and the job market being the way it is in the United States, there's probably millions of other applicants and they just simply don't care. It, it's like you need them and it's a power struggle. It's a power game. And that's why they're often rude and nasty. And that poor man has to go Reapply. What do you get out of having power over people? You know? Hear me again. I'm going to go back to what I said when I was building Super Tech, as you know, years ago. And we met everybody, the highest levels of government and everything. But why? We got invited because why? Our attitudes, our reputations, and you're going to love these guys. They're wonderful. When I met with the black hip hop groups, I wanted to leave their record labels and come over to Super Tech to the Dog Fight Soundboards Division. My partner, uh, uh, the Frenchman, Alain Alou, just came in one day with his secretary and everybody said, we've got a problem. I said, what's the problem? He said, all the, all the black groups, the hip-hops, they said they won't talk to anybody, they will only deal with Billy. Is that respect? Well, how can I get that? By threatening them? No. By what? That earning their trust? They like me? They said, we'll only talk to Billy. We only deal with Billy. You earn their respect and right their trust. Away. There's another, that's a good, I could give you many more examples. But it's, it comes from being honest, being fair, not yeah. being greedy, you know what I'm saying? We'll take good care of you here. Now, being a fair person. What's so. interesting is that we're, we're talking about uh, food stamps, which is really a, a microscopic drop in a bucket. Uh, it's a microscopic drop in a bucket. Did you know, before before I, I, I pause, did you know that they they cut food stamps for the poor and for veterans that were in um, Iraq and Afghanistan? But did you know, but did you know that the government, particularly the uh, Republican Congress, has been giving $93 billion a year as, as corporate subsidies, which are handouts, Free money, corporate welfare, ninety-three billion dollars a year, but they can't give some a few crumbs in food stamps to veterans no, and poor people. They give a lot of people in food stamps anyway is really not enough. It's enough to get by. It's not. But you can't get the things you really want. You can't go buy a pound no. of roast beef for a cold cuts. It's no. twelve, twelve, thirteen dollars a pound or whatever if you're feeding a family. But but it's so food. microscopic. It's a drop in a bucket. It's very but is it, isn't that astronomical? Not, not? We, we both asked our friends what are we getting. We have a few friends each that are on the, the, the program. It comes to about $30 or a little bit less per week. <laughs> Let's be honest, people. What can you really buy that you want and enjoy for that? Hardly anything. No. Cans of beans, rice maybe? You do end up living on a uh, 
a diet of canned goods per se. Yeah, canned goods. You're absolutely right. Because what else can you can't even buy fresh produce with food stamps. And what are you going to do now with sadly the, the world weather changing has been destroying a lot of crops worldwide. They say prices are going to go higher. There's a, there's a, there's a, a long-term, maybe permanent drought in the middle of the middle America. And down in Texas, I heard, there's the agriculture of Texas is almost nothing. Horrible drought. The drought wow. is killing. Well, uh, as we all know from this week of the news, California, the entire state, 100% drought. When have you ever heard of an entire state? Being in drought emergency. And that's the real garden state, is California, the not New Jersey. The producer comes out of there, a whole state as big as California, 100%. And Texas is not far behind. Yeah. And I'll tell you, when I lived down in Texas, and for your viewers, listeners out there, viewers, I lived there in the mid, mid to late 60s. We never had this problem. The weather patterns you're seeing down in my area. San Antonio and everything. They never had. We never had a single flood when I lived down there. Now flooding is every year in San Antonio. Ice storms are commonplace every year in Dallas. They never had an ice storm. Yeah. It's been the past 10, 15, 20 years ago. This has changed. I mean, this is serious. This is very serious. You know, there's, lo there's swarms of locusts sure. uh, in, in, uh, in the drought regions. This all affects the money, which all comes back to the food stamp programs, blah, 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 people not having enough to spend as it is, and if the prices go up, they have even less to get now. So it it's all, incredible. It all, it's, it just comes around. They're giving billions of dollars to other country at 93, uh, 93 billion a year in corporate welfare, and they have to cut. You know what's even more despicable? The veterans. The, the ones that are, just came are, home. Our VA hospital program is horrendous. It has caused, sadly, many deaths of our veterans. This is yeah. wrong. Like, you're not serving anymore? We don't need you. This is wrong. You serve your country. You know the states, I mean, this is you, you know the states that refused, uh, like, like Obamacare and, Medi and Medi Medicaid? Yeah. You, know, you know how there's been deaths by poor people in those states because they had no health coverage because well, the governor and a lot of the mental illness programs in the VA don't seem yeah. that really good. Yeah, we've got to revamp the entire Veterans yeah. Administration system. These but, are our people, number one. Yeah. These are our veterans, especially. Yeah. They fought for this nation. That's true. And now that you're no longer serving, you're disposed. Yeah. Throw you to the side. Well, you, you did. You serve your duty, your purpose. Get it's away, like get what away. people do with with pets. With older. With older people and with pets. Dogs and cats. They, they get older, they, they just throw them on the it, door it, out it, the street. As far as I'm concerned, a pet is for life. You don't discard a dog or a well, cat. One rule. Or, or abandon them. Not everything is a big disposable. Okay? Yeah. Not everything is a damn life. You're talking about something that's living and breathing here. Whether it's a veteran or an animal, what have you. But this isn't a damn lie. Or the elderly. Or, or shape. Yeah. The elderly, we uh, a lot of nightmares going on in these nursing homes, yeah. too. The beatings and the whole bit, the yeah. bruisings, the non-feedings, let them sit there in their own excrement with their diaper on for yeah. God knows how many hours sometimes. There's just a lack of compassion and empathy in today's society. But, Will? Yeah, and when you catch these people, I didn't mean to do it all. We've got so many problems. We've all got problems. Don't give me that excuse, okay? No excuse. There's, that's no excuse for being cruel. Especially abuse. For being cruel? Yes. No. I don't want to hear it. Well, Sir, Sir William, I was reading a fascinating article uh, online concerning um, the fact that how people are today in today's society, they have traded uh, their humanity for high technology. Nobody knows how to deal with a live human being face to face. Everybody texts so constantly. Their their noses are in the smartphone. They don't know how to deal with people, and they all they do is they live virtual lives often, like on Facebook. They'll have it's a to phony do it profile. It's, it's a coward way to do it in essence because you don't look somebody in the eye, and you know, there's no mo motion in your tone or voice. You're basically you're just typing a letter. Yeah. So you're lazy or you're scared. I'd rather look somebody in the eye and hear your voice. I don't believe in the corporation 
where your application is emailed, they have no idea of your personality. It's like your character. You're just another screen of this. They right. don't know you, you might be the greatest guy in the world, and here's a guy more qualified, but he turns out to be a true scumbag, for example. Right. They, you've got the character is much more than qualifications at times. You've got to fit in with the organization. Too. I mean, people have, they, 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 they hide behind facade, especially a profile well, online. Look at dating, how they lie about each other. They constantly lie. Sure, sure. so they do it as in jobs, job applications too. So. I mean, uh, these are people who uh, who live these uh, virtual type lives. They can say anything about themselves. They can lie about anything, exaggerate. We be, we be becoming dumbified, and I, for one, you know, don't use a computer. I refuse to. I start my as a phone as a phone. I don't text. I believe in. I'll I'm, talk to you, and I'll talk back to you. I know. I know. Uh, you, don't have to, you don't have to write me. Yeah. I want to talk to you. I know a it's few simple. people. I know a few people that refuse to pick up the phone and call. They rather text. Uh -huh. you know, I know why? One why? person knows me personally, face to face. I I, I, I met the person. Per, I, well, it's easier also to power to way to tell somebody off rather than tell them with your voice. Oh, it's like it's, you type. You piss the you know what out of me. I'm mad as hell. Blah, 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 blah. Don't ever call. Don't ever text me again. But what about people but that? Could you say that with your voice to somebody? A lot of people would be afraid to. Uh, what about people that break up with a uh, with a boyfriend or a girlfriend by text on, on it's by almost email? Like you remember when a guy would get real brave in a club or a bar, pick a fight called liquid courage. Liquid this is courage, like electronic courage. Think about the correlation. Instead of booze, you have the electronics. Then again, if you have some drinks too, and the electronics, it's a double way. I mean, you know, you know how. How many people talk so much shit online by texting? Because you're right, it gives them a lot of courage when they're texting. Because you can't get me. Right. I'm sitting here at my keyboard, so are you. Yeah, I could, I could be thousands of miles away from you. Yeah, I, I could call when you call a girl. Where do you live? Blah, blah, blah. What time should I pick you up? Where do you want to go out? Blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I just don't believe in all this electronics. Yeah. Granted, computers I think are wonderful for certain yeah. applications. Yes, but it's made it's made people so lazy and and so antisocial too. When you see people out and about, especially the younger generation, their their noses are in the smartphone. Well, I like when I watch people sitting together. They don't make eye contact. You know, well, they sit there and they're texting other people. Nobody's saying a word to each other at the table, like at a McDonald's or a restaurant or whatever. And they're all sitting there. They all have their faces buried. Why did you go out? What's the point in getting together? My, my father always said Americans don't know how to eat. They think eating means stuffing their, their gut. In the, the foreign countries, Europe especially, it's an event where you get together, talk, laugh, share stories. And they taste their food, they chew. They don't make it just stuff. It's not about just getting full. It's an event, a get together. And yeah, how was your day? What's new? So what's going on? You know, blah, blah, blah. What do you plan? How's the business going on? School, you know. Yeah. Who are you seeing right now? How do you, special? Uh, how do you like the? Uh, how do you like the fish? Is, is it they cook just, good? You now know? they just they've lost all touch. Yeah, they they traded their they humanity. Don't, and they don't know what they're missing. Sadly. Traded trading humanity for yeah. technology, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. Thank you very much, William H. Moore the third. All right, Jimmy. You're welcome, my friend. Till next time. Bye bye. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times, so you need newsletter censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com. Okay, we are back. Thank you very much, William H. Morrow III, for a 
wonderful, invigorating meeting with myself and uh, doing a great promo for us, as usual. Uh, we, we discussed, uh, of course, uh, uh, the many glitches and incompetence of uh, state uh, employees concerning social services and the, the very uh, discussion that we had earlier about how they humiliate and discourage poor people. And also we talked about uh, how um, humanity is just trading their, how people are trading their humanity for high technology. You know, uh, we have a texting society and we have people that uh, don't really go out and, and commune with nature. They don't rub elbows with the flora and the fauna. They they don't they don't look people in the eye and deal with real human beings and communicate with real human beings. Everything is texting. It is a, a, a cyber alternative life. You know. Yeah. And then uh, there's a lot of catfishing. Forget their Xboxes. There's a lot of catfishing going on. You know when people. Uh, portray themselves online as being something that they're not, of course. And uh, of course, you know, the best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. And uh, I was just talking to Dr. Bill here. Uh, I haven't gotten a chance to read that article about baking soda. Bacon soda is supposed to be this miraculous product that the medical prof profession and the pharmaceutical industry does not want you to read. Mm. And I will find out what it's all about. And then, of course, forward it to Dr. Bill. So, um, there's always so much in, involved in nutrition and alternative medicine. And uh, you can learn all of this by joining our Facebook group, Holistic Health Talk. Holistic Health Talk is now all of the archive shows. 100% of Holistic Health Talk is now available on video, which includes uh, slideshows on YouTube and Google. Uh, if you go to Mega Life 21 YouTube channel, you will see the playlist for all of the past shows for Holistic Health Talk, which is now available on demand can watch them at any time and that includes the God Project and that includes the censored readings all video on demand in playlists on the internet Mega Life 20 so since uh, we got the radio station kind of got screwed by uh, either the people that Java Java yeah the, the new Java is not compatible with the Radio Destiny broadcaster. And and, and I, I emailed Java and they did not reply to me. <laughs> After many, many weeks, there's no reply, which means they don't, don't care. <laughs> so, therefore, we are going by way of video playlists. That is our how we're presenting <clears throat> the, the radio shows to people. And the station link is still active. So if you go there, instead of listening to the show of the day, you will see the video playlist right in front of you. And you just select which ones you want to sit, listen to. And uh, you can go right to YouTube, uh, Mega Life 21 channel, and they're all there. So anyway, let us get back to the show. Florence, South Carolina. I'm, I have a feeling I'm not going to lack this article. The president and founder of Cathedral Bible College faces federal charges uh -oh. that he made international students work long hours with little pay by threatening their legal status. That's how um, uh, peddlers in uh, in illegal immigration 
do it. Do it. They they use. They don't even have to mention it. They use extortion tactics. They say, "I brought you over here. You owe me big time a big fee for bringing you to the United States, and I'm going to take it out of your pay." And blah 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 blah. And then if you don't like it, you're out. The Sun News of Myrtle Beach and WBTW reported that bond was set at $250,000 at a hearing on Friday for Reginald Wayne Miller. Under the terms of this bond, he is not allowed to visit the college's campus in Marion or communicate with current or foreign students. Miller's attorney said, Oh, he's got an attorney. Friends and family will try to raise the bond money. Agents with Homeland Security investigations filed a criminal complaint against Miller this week. Good. About time they do something. Homeland Security don't do crap. It doesn't. It's a thirty billion dollar boondoggle. It's like a crony job, right? That Bush and then uh, administration created. It's like a, they're all. They all have a cushy crony job. That, don't that, do anything. That's when you don't do no work. Yeah. Work. Saying they have probable cause to charge him with forced labor. Yeah. Yes. A felony that carries a maximum prison sentence of 20 years. So this means that any poor soul, any immigrant that's in this situation can uh, mosey on over to uh, uh, their nearest Homeland Security office and uh, and rat out the bastard that's doing this to them <laughs> and I'm sure uh, Homeland Security were to appreciate the honesty oh, yes, they would. of an, Im an, an immigrant oh yeah well it's not their fault that they were they were lied to by the culprit the you know? religious culprit okay even worse a man in a cloth. That's correct. Man in a cloth. The emerald ash borer beetle, or an invasive species from Asia, what else is new? that infects and kills all types of ash trees, Aww. has been spotted for the first time in New Jersey. So the ash trees are getting it in the ash. By the, by the beetle. For the past four years, New Jersey has worked with federal agricultural officials hanging glue streaked purple traps in North Jersey to see if the beetle had arrived. The traps were always empty. Well, they have to learn more about this invasive beetle then. But a landscaper studying unhealthy trees in a retail area of Bridgewater in Somerset County saw insect larvae and alerted the State Department of Agriculture. Inspectors took larvae samples from the trees, sent them to a federal laboratory, which confirmed the larvae were ash borer beetles. Ash borer beetles. There are now 23 states Two Canadian provinces that have the beetle, which has killed tens of millions of trees. Wow, that's not good. I 
believe baseball bats are made of uh, ash. You know, like the Louisville Slugger. The Beatles had already been found in counties in New York and Pennsylvania. Since the emerald ash borer had been active just over our borders for quite a number of years, we expected that it would be found in New Jersey eventually. The state will now survey trees around Bridgewater to determine the extent of the infestation. The largest concentration of ash trees in the state tend to be in parkland in northern New Jersey. In the past, traps to survey for the pest have been hung in Bergen, Lusaic, Sussex, Essex, Morris, Warren, Somerset, and Hunterton counties. Okay. Ash trees are also often used to line streets and in residential landscaping because they provide good shade and have a vibrant fall color. The ash trees, hardwood, is valued for... It's going, it's going, it's professional gone! Professional baseball bats! It's gone, a home run! <laughs> Axe handles, cabinetry, and wood floors. So it's considered a hardwood. Like me Blackthorn shillelagh. <laughs> Officials said they will educate homeowners on how to protect their ash trees. Treatment products are available at retail outlets and state certified pesticide companies can treat for the beetle. Ah. Do they sing? Oh, you got that something. Da -da -da -da. I want to bite your tree. <laughs> I want to bite your tree. <laughs> right in the ash. <laughs> there you go. While members of Congress reveled in a rare show of bipartisanship. Oh, God. Make me sick. Thursday. I hate bipartisanship. It's nauseating. In approving legislation to dramatically change the federal government's beleaguered bulk data collection system, an influential chorus of critics warned that the bill was little more than a watered-down feel good exercise. The 303 to 121 vote in the House for the USA Freedom Act won praise from key members of both political parties. Intelligence Committee Chairman Mike Rogers, Republican of Michigan, talked of a sweet spot between maintaining national security and protecting Americans privacy and a parade of politicians about to head home for long Memorial Day recess agreed but just beneath the surface were serious concerns the bill now goes to the Senate where Judiciary Committee Chairman Patrick Leahy Democrat of uh, Vermont said he was disappointed. The changes did not go far enough. You know, Bingo. Uh, bipartisanship uh, compromising always, to me, always means that um, uh, the Republicans gain something. Gain something. They get <laughs> they get their way. Exactly. There, there's never a a a fair right down the middle bipartisan partisanship agreement. Right. Yes. Senator Ron Wyden, Democrat of Oregon, who has been active on these surveillance issues, had stronger feelings. I am gravely concerned that the changes that have been made to the House version of this bill have watered it down so far that it fails to protect Americans from 
suspicionless mass surveillance. Many watchdog legal groups agree. To call this a disappointment is an understatement. Why does it have to be bipartisanship? These damn Democrats are so concerned with making friends with Republicans. But the point is, being they, liked. they didn't do the job. No. Even with bipartisanship. Because they didn't stop what's going on. The problem. True. The problem. The NSA is gathering all information on you that it can. Against the Constitution. But they didn't do anything about that. No. They left that intact. Intact. Nula O'Connor, President and CEO of the Center for Democracy and Technology, found the bill now offers only mild reform and goes against the overwhelming support for definitively ending bulk collection. Lawmakers opposing the bill were largely a collection of liberal, libertarian, excuse me, libertarian Republicans and liberal Democrats. By the way, liberal in the Bible means generous. Sounds Proverbs like, sound. Is it Proverbs? A giving. I think it's Proverbs 10 or 11, yeah. 24 and 25, the verses. A giving nature. The uh, yeah. definition of a liberal. Well, look at in the, the, in the... In, in, in the Hebrew. Well, look at the, web, the Webster's Dictionary definition. When you, you liberally, you are giving something liberally. It, it, you know, it, it usually means that. Yeah. Generous, what, open, generous, giving personality. But eh? what has happened is that the Republicans have so demonized the word that the liberals had to change their word to progressive. They're, a, they're able to demonize it because the media allows them to do it. That, that's why the, the first inductee into the Chisler's Hall of Shame was the American mainstream media. They allow it to take place. I'm, I'm sure they had nothing to say when Dick Cheney says, "Ah, we got a, we got a subpoena that that uh, Hillary Clinton bitch." I'm sure nobody in the in the mainstream media. I don't even think anyone on on the the wonderful kind uh, 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 MSNBC had anything critical to say no. about Dick Cheney's statement. And besides, you already testified before Congress. Remember? Nobody nobody opens their mouth. I don't understand it. Nobody opens their mouth when, when the jackass says something. Only when Rush Limbaugh says something do you know, to people stand up. But, you know, Cheney says something. GW says something. Um, any of the demons in, in the Congress actually say something? Nothing. The media says nothing. Actually, GW has been fairly quiet. Yeah, he's, I think he knows he got away with a lot of shit. He's an artist now, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great artist. He hasn't painted anything showing how the Americans got, got the shaft, got screwed, right? No. Just, uh... Uh, the political figures and his feet. His feet in the bathtub. Kissing his feet? Yeah. I saw that painting. Oh, man. Now, don't forget, this is the man who, who blew up frogs as a, as a child and laughed oh, about yeah, it. Yeah. And, 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 and there was an article in the paper in Patterson, New Jersey, where a bunch of, of little demons uh, were torturing a cat. Throwing rocks at it. Throwing rocks at a cat, and he lost one of his eyes. And, the and cat you know, is dead. Oh, the cat? They is, had to kill it. Is, they had to put it to uh, sleep. Two, two young kids rescued it and, you know, chased the, the other kids away. And they brought the cat to 
It's too late. Yeah, it was too late. So the, these children, these uh, socio. No, don't call them children. These are demons. These are socio. These are future Social sociopaths. Yes, exactly. Maybe serial killers. Ah. Yeah. To get thrills out of torturing and murdering an innocent animal, in this case, a cat. Mm -hmm. That's how it starts, isn't it? Usually. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, these are not, these are, these are demons. These are not children. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, but uh, Bill Morrow and I, we discussed it. And uh, I can't even mention the article to him because he, he gets so upset. He, he, wa he wants animals to have more rights. He believes that animals deserve to have more rights than they have now. You know, because there's too much torture well, unfortunately, and mistreatment. Though, you know? Yeah, but unfortunately, when these are 12 years old and 10 year old kids, you know, they, they, the law can't come down on them hard enough. They, it shouldn't. But it should. But they can't. It should. I, because I, they excuse many of those things. I don't feel sorry. They're so, just youngsters. I don't feel sorry for them. I would, I would, I would, I would lynch them all. Uh. <laughs> With no hood over their head, slow lynch, so you see the eyeballs popping out. I think I believe in the old, uh, the old, what the Old Testament used to take care of business, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. I believe it. You, you, you rid the world of the vermin. Yeah, but that wasn't for the world. It was only for ancient Israel to protect it. Oh, by the way, some, not for the rest somebody of the was. We I was law. discussing uh, right to life versus pro-choice uh -oh. and someone uh, some liberal uh, from the south mind you uh, agreed and said that you know besides the Bible mentioning that life begins when uh, Adam took his first breath the Bible also mentions uh, that abortions took place and does did not condemn them it, Bible too. Abortions took place. Well, that that's uh, I don't know where he got that. That's not in the Bible. There's no it, talk of abortions. No. There's Unless talk, these are people assuming that they know the Bible. There's talk of an incident where if someone, uh, let's say, punches your wife in the belly and uh, the kid is not harmed. Oh, I killed the person. The kid is not harmed. That. Uh, probably don't do anything to the other guy, but if the baby is harmed, somebody hit your wife, what are you talking about? Not. Somebody hit your wife, aside from the, 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 the newborn, I'm talking about somebody punching your wife. I know, but that's a different thing. I put, I put a frig, my friggin' Bowie, a crocodile Dundee Bowie knife yeah, right in his back. That's, that's a different incident we're talking about now. We're talking about abortions, mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. harm for the child. Okay. So okay. if you harm the child, then you can get money for them, or something like that, but... There's never any mention of abortion yeah. per se. Well, God used to, uh, when he was in a bad mood in the Old Testament, God used to smite... He gets angry, you know. God used to smite entire uh, uh, communities and cities where there were innocent uh, women and children and, and elderly people and innocent bystanders. Uh, there was a lot of collateral damage when God got pissed off enough and he, and he did his smiting. But you know what happened? found out that didn't work. Smiting? I like the word smite. I don't like mites or parasites, but smite I like. This litigation still allows the government to collect everything they want against Americans. To treat Americans as suspects first and citizens second. Critics were particularly upset over how the legislation that had been approved earlier this month by the Intelligence and Judiciary Committees underwent changes <coughs> in recent days after closed-door negotiations with intelligence agency officials. The bill would end the bulk collection of Americans' business records, telephones, electronic communications, under Section 215 of the Patriot Act. Call detail records can only be gathered 
on a case-by-case -case basis and only after approval from the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court. Intelligence agencies say the collection of the records is necessary to ensure they can quickly access records during an investigation of a foreign terror suspect. By the way, not one terror plot was ever stopped by these shenanigans. Not one! Regardless of what the NSA and Mr. Clapper or who else tell clap you. Clap on, clap Not on. one. Not one. The clap Not one. On. Yeah. These are all methods only to spy on innocent Americans. This is much worse than McCarthyism, right? You were telling me Wednesday. Well, of course, of course. McCarthy had none of this stuff available to him. High-tech spy? Yeah. And drones and all that? Yeah. Now you got now you got little helicopter drones. You have mosquito drones, the size of a mosquito. Hummingbird drones. Hummingbird, maybe bumblebee drones. And you know, they're, if they're able to make a drone out of a mosquito, make a mosquito out of a drone. No, make a, a mosquito drone. I guess that comes from nanotechnology, right? Yes. Then anything right. is possible, for God's sakes. That's correct. What is possible now is actually that they might have some way of inserting in you the chip something. Maybe we have the chip in our in our uh, hologram uh, digital driver's license, and we don't even know it. We might have a chip in there, a tracking chip there now. Maybe. You know, I was talking to someone at Bergen Regional Medical Center, and uh, they I heard them mentioning the chip for medical identification, and I go, come on. I said to them, the woman, I says, come on, you know what that's about. She Ooh. worked for the hospital. You know what that's about. And I got it out of her. She says, yeah, to track us. To identify, first she says identification. I go, no, it's more than identification. <laughs> it's to track your every move. Anyway, the uh, agency was... The mark of the beast. That's not the mark of the beast! No. The mark of the beast is worshipping on Sunday. The false Sabbath. And calling it the Sabbath. The false Sabbath. That's correct. That's the mark of the beast. And it's been in effect... For a long, right. long so, time. So the chip is not the modern day 666 on the head. 666 is the name of the beast. Yeah. Not you. Or the chip or whatever. But there will be something in the near future which will be able to... Um, Allow you to buy and sell? Right. And right. if you don't have it, you can't buy and sell? That's correct. Well, you can't buy and sell if you're not a Christian under their definition. Under their definition. And you can't sell and buy right. either. Right. Right. Yeah. They've done that for, they've done that with Jews in the past. Their definition of what a Christian is. Yes. Their cult. Their definition. They're a cult. Cult. You might as well call it a cult. Like the, uh, the uh, Southern Fundamentalist Evangelical Right Wing Born Again Zealot. That's a cult. They're cults. They don't follow the Bible. They make up their own rules, which are usually based on uh, greed and selfishness. Paganism. Paganism. Downright evil on occasion. You know? Anyway, the NSA has been collect of innocent Americans' call records. Uh -huh. The bill would now require the NSA and the FBI to limit their collection to two links from a terror suspect and be based on a specific selection term. The definition in the original bill would have limited that selection term to a person, entity, or account, which gave liberal liberties organizations hope that the bill would prove effective in ending all 
all the boat collection. But the bill voted on Thursday broadened the definition. Ah. Leaving it open-ended and potentially allowing for very broad selection of records such as all, all records to or from a certain country. Okay. Many who backed the bill echoed the thoughts of Representative Gerald Nadler, Democrat of New York, who acknowledged concerns that the current definition of specific selection term may still allow overbroad collection. But he said, there is protection against abuse. The bill has provisions that would bar the government from using an entire telephone area code or internet router to collect and warehouse records just because a terror suspect might be using a phone in that area or sending communications that might traverse that router. See what that says? Yeah. They're spying on your routers. Also, you know what? They know your porn sites, baby. I I am I've I've always been a uh, as a Leo, I've always been very independent and I will continue to do what I enjoy, and, and uh, Dr. Bill over here is an Aquarian, and he's also very independent, and he will always do what he enjoys and, and speak his mind, and, uh, you know, if he feels like zigging, he's going to zig. If he feels like zagging, he'll zag. My history is fine. I do not delete it. I have, we have nothing to be ashamed of, and we have nothing to hide. Of course, I don't have a router. What? I don't have a router. I don't have a router either. So I presume... I have a... I presume. I have a modem. I have a, a digital modem. I, I presume the only way to get into me is when I'm on the net. Yeah. I presume. Well, could they spy uh, through digital modem? Yes. Yeah, well, That's I have... That's what uh, I'm saying. I don't have... I wish I had fiber they optics. They can do that with your telephone, you know. You know, I'm waiting for fiber optics to up. They can do it with a cell phone. They can do it with a, di with a digital mo modem. Uh, I mean, when fiber optics becomes not the luxury, but if it becomes the norm, you know, if, if, you, if once it's established and everything is fiber optic, then I'll just naturally become fiber optic. But I'm, well, not, it, pay I'm not paying a high fee for fiber optics. It is optics. for Verizon right now. It's the norm? Yeah. The connection for Ver Verizon Internet? At least in this area. Well, It is not for TW, you know, it's France, Warner. It's fiber optics. When you get fiber optics, I believe, uh, when you pay sep extra for it, it's fiber no, optics. No, they put it in. I have it in here. I have the box on my wall. If I ever, if I ever, you know, take Verizon as my cable, they just plug it in. That's what I was going to say. It's fiber optics to the house. Right. But once it enters the building, it goes to the uh, coaxial copper cable, the twisted copper. No, it's nothing. It's a box. You plug it in. It's like a telephone jack. Once you order cable from them, they plug you into oh, it. Oh, kind of like DSL was through the telephone. That's correct. Except it's it's fiber optic, fiber but optic. you can still talk on your landline. You, uh, if you're on the air, it doesn't take up your home telephone when you're when you're you're booted up when you're online. So you can still receive calls on the landline, but it's all fiber optics. And don't they have some kind of uh, internet internet deal too? Yes. They have that too. Yeah. yeah they I, have a bundle. It's seventy seventy nine ninety nine right now. The the uh, the triple threat. I mean triple the, threat. the triple package. Triple package. Phone. Yeah. And of course, it's all all calls are free within the continental United States. When you get.
get that. The digital, by the way, the volume is so loud and crystal clear with a digital home phone connection. But most people just use their cell phone. Being that people have the tablets and, the, and, and they have the Samsung Galaxies and the iPhones and they do every damn thing on their phone, they don't even bother to spend all that money on a, on a, a home phone. You know, but uh, I, um, we have the triple deal where, where I live. You know? I awoke on Sunday morning to discover that we were indeed one nation under Godzilla. Yeah, under Godzilla? Oh yeah, Godzilla's doing quite well. The movie. Yet another monster movie reboot that managed to scare up $93 million in its opening week. I, I love it. I love it. Sci-fi, horror, I love it. If this person's criticizing Godzilla, I'll wrap him with my shillelagh. Was I jealous? I'm a big fan of Godzilla. Sure I was jealous. Toho Productions. It takes me almost an entire year to make $93 billion. Oh, is this person paying his fair share in taxes? And that's before I pay my taxes. Wow. Pay my mortgage. Doing well, huh? Pay my ever-growing Easy Pass bill. Oh, poor thing. He has bills to pay, and he's make he's 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 uh making ninety three grand a year. I feel sorry for him. Grand, million. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Million. This jabroni is making ninety three million a, a year. He's being sarcastic because otherwise he could buy the newspaper. <laughs> so I can continue crossing all those lovely bridges before some giant monster ambles along, rips them out of the water, and then waves them defiantly over his scaly gray head. You know what? If I was Godzilla and I found out what people are paying to cross the uh, New York bridges, <laughs> the rip-off rip -off toll, I'd rip them out Is it like $12 also. now for the Verrazano or something? Yeah, not only that, if you want to go to Long Island, you have to pay another toll to go over, oh, the e uh, I guess, the East River or something. Holy it's another toll. It's two tolls. Because you're going into the Big Apple. You're, it, they don't charge you to leave New York. They charge you to enter it. it it's, it's, it's the world's greatest tourist trap. The, 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 the cost of living in Manhattan, you know, the rents, the food entertainment, the restaurants, the, uh, uh, the theater, which I hate, a bunch of, a bunch of metrosexual uh, 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 pansies uh, bouncing around in leotards, show tunes, uh, what, what do they get for a Broadway ticket? Over a hundred bucks? Mm, I don't know. Who the hell knows? Yeah, it's a, tw over 20 bucks or forty-five dollars for steak dinner or whatever. It's insane. It's insane. So you're paying to enter New York City. Since I was inordinately busy last week, I somehow managed to miss the news that the giant lizard had even returned. Fifteen. With the vengeance. With the vengeance. Fifteen hundred bucks or more for a little tiny studio apartment, a little cubby hole. Well, of course he returned with a vengeance. I would too. Why else would a giant fire-breathing lizard return? Oh, the For tea and chit-chat? Tea and scones. Oh, you mean the American Godzilla breathes fire? Like the great. like the Japanese one? I can't wait to see it though. Man. I got it. To pick out new curtains at Bed Bath and be stomped <laughs> be to stomped. use the powder room. <laughs> As I slithered the lizard-like <laughs> down my new Google news feed, I winced at the predictable headlines. Godzilla scores monstrous $93 million weekend. Yeah, I don't think the lizard has a gizzard. Godzilla flattens box Birds. office <laughs> with monstrous debut. Good, good for him. Godzilla towers over 
over the competition. <sighs> Puns aside, I had to wonder how was this possible? People love him. He's been around for, for decades. I mean, even as a monster obsessed kid, I couldn't sit through the 1954 Godzilla even after it had been dubbed into English. Why not? The one with Raymond Burr, I even like that one. I, made I, I love old, uh, low-budget horror. More palatable to American audiences by splicing in scenes featuring Raymond Burr. Yeah, he was an Ironside and he, he walked. The actor best known for playing Terry Mason, Ironside. And that creepy guy who killed his wife in Rear Window. Oh, yeah. By the time I was 12 years old, I had managed to glue together and paint almost all of the movie monster model kits released by Aurora, Dracula, Frankenstein, oh, them. Wolfman, I thought you were going to mention the King Kong. I thought you were going to mention the other monsters that appeared with Godzilla, like Rodan and, and Ghidorah and, uh, and Mothra. Mothra! I liked King Kong so much, I built two of them. Did he use the other in King Kong? Or would he just kind of stinky? Or he... I even built the Aurora Chamber of Commerce. Excuse me, Chamber of Commerce. That's good. Uh, chamber of Horrors guillotine. The Chamber of Commerce is a guillotine. Oh, man. Which really worked. All you had to do was pull the string. And the blade came and chopped some guy's head off. Was it a real blade? Plunk! How cool was that? A real working guillotine? Why, well, it would cut off some finger. They should use a, uh, a small guillotine for rapists. And, you know, by guillotining their, their, their scrotum. Still, child molesters. Well, they Anytime deserve, of I went back to the hobby store and saw Godzilla standing there, pleading at me with those big red eyes, <laughs> build me, build me, I could never work up the requisite enthusiasm. You know, the action figures from Japan are expensive. I, I, I saw them in a, in a Japanese uh, market. Stuff is work money man they're action figures if you leave them in the box oh that's even better untouched by human hand if you have a hunch about an action figure as far as investment and future potential leave it in the box I know you jabroni little brats out there want well, I can't wait to take it out of the box and play with it oh no no you wanna no leave it in the box look at at it. Don't touch it. Yeah, look it. at it for 50 years. Look at it for 50 years. Yeah. <laughs> Takes that long? Then take it to the uh, road show. It depends. It's road show. It depends on how long it takes for it to become worth something, you know. Well, an antique uh, for is usually 100 years. Yeah, but it's not. They're not. Action figure value, I don't think it's based on antique. Uh, uh, value it being an antique I think it's um, like if they if 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 they stop making the cartoon or they uh, you know look at the be, Pez dispenser it becomes it becomes um, out of vogue after being very much in vogue I think that's when the look investment at the Pez value. dispensers um, they were something they're worth big bucks baby really just think of all the ones I had that my mother threw out. I hope you didn't have Mr. Death, the skeleton. No, I had, I had, uh... He's worth some bucks. I had Tweety Boyd, Tweety Bird, and some others, but, you know, what's even worse is all the stacks of wonderful baseball cards I had oh. that my mother said was collecting dust, but her junk wasn't collecting dust. My baseball cards were collecting dust. And I, yes, I had rookie cards from people that became legends. Oh, see? 
and I had should have laminated I, them and put them away. I had them all. They're mostly from the seventies because mm. you know I grew up in the seventies. Not even the words "glow in the dark" swayed me. I wasn't interested in looking at him in the daylight. Why would I want to look in the dark? Wouldn't that be a great horror uh, 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 action figure? Is a Mitch McConnell face coming out of a turtle shell, glow in the dark, horror yeah, action figure. One of those figure. big turtles with a, with a big neck. Uh, yeah, like a Galapagos yeah, tortoise yeah, 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 with yeah. a big long neck, right? Yeah. That stupid face. For some reason, this concerned my parents. Why don't you like Godzilla? Uh, my he, mother asked one Kids day. always love dinosaur looking things. As if he had just moved in next door Dragons. and had no one to play with. Oh man. I don't know, I shrugged. He's not one of my favorite monsters. I bet he had a lot of pansy ass monsters that he liked. Now that I think about He's it. He's the king, man. He's the king. I wasn't all that crazy about the wolf man. Either. Lon Chaney? Junior? Perhaps because he looked so much like my Uncle Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> who had scary tufts of black hair growing out of his ears. That's disgusting. And had to shave his nose every oh, two days. Oh my god. Nah, you uh, you pluck them nose hair. Well, you cut them. You cut them. Since I thought everyone felt the same way. Because then you'll end up cutting your, your nose off to spite your face. Ah, oh, the levity bells. Memorial Day week. Get it? Cut your nose off to spite your face. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I felt the same way about Godzilla. I looked up some of the reviews to see why this movie was such a hit. Yeah. As I soon learned, it has a very respectable cast, really? including Brian Cranston from the <clears throat> AMC series Breaking Bad and Sally Hawkins who received an Oscar nomination this year for playing opposite another red-eyed, fire-breathing movie monster, Kate Blanchett. What about Jim Carrey? Was he in it? In Blue Jasmine. I don't even know these people. Is Raymond Burr still alive or not? So they can't dig him up and give him a, a role. Cameo. A cameo appearance. Like like Spock's cameo appearance in, uh, in the new, uh, well... Why hasn't Aurora come Plus. out with the Jasmine model. The woman scared the hell out of me. Oh, you know who made it come back? The uh, the evil woman uh, witch from Snow White. I think. Uh, I think uh, uh, Angelina Jolie's playing her. I eventually stumbled over the New York Times review of Godzilla by A. O. Scott, who noted A. O. Appreciation of a movie like this requires an almost morbid degree of connoisseurship, which may in practice be hard to distinguish from bored acquiescence. Well, there you go. Well, there's a lot of, you know, I know somebody who is only into these, like, dramas that you would see on the Lifetime Chick Flick channel. You know, dramas with stories about real people. That bores the crap out of me. I like a good sci-fi once in a while, you know. I'm pretty sure I know what all those words mean. I just can't quite deal with them all in the same sentence. For the record, yeah, I also them. wasn't crazy about Martha. The 1961 movie about a giant monster that resembles a moth. Oh, I'm shaking. Hey, let me tell you something. You better not say nothing about Mothra. Remember the fairies, the two cute he Japanese said he fairies. He's scared of it. Oh, I'm he's, shaking. He's afraid of Mothra? No, he's making it. Oh, I'm shaking. Well, it's like it didn't scare him at all. Mothra's great, man. Mothra. Mothra. I'll always remember Mothra, though, because me I was ho. watching it. The afternoon movie on November 9th, 1965, 
when we lost power everywhere Mothra slammed into some overhead wires on television and blacked out half the eastern seaboard Mothra oh Mothra is it appears in this movie He's being funny! Oh, he's being funny. My Ma God! The new Mothra fires like laser beams from his antenna. Mothra... The old one just spins silk. They shot silk at you. ...appeared in several sequels, including Mothra versus Godzilla. Yeah, Mothra's a superstar over there. Rodan... I think Mothra surpassed Rodan. Not the painter, and not the painter. Though. Godzilla versus Mothra. Yeah, Rodan was a pterodactyl, uh, but um, Ma uh, Godzilla also fought King Kong. But the Asian version of King Kong looked like an orangutan. It was like a reddish hair, like a orangey, like a, like a reddish haired ape, yeah. which which is an orangutan. Well, it's, you know, it's Asia. <laughs> Did he have a red ass? Yeah, he had a red ass. Would have been a baboon. Oh no, his no, his anus didn't stick out. You mean like hemorrhoids? No, the baboon has a red ass. The baboon has those those uh, red hemorrhoids that stick out, right? Cheeks. Oh, those are cheeks. No, he doesn't have that. No, he just um, you know, uh, he's he's like an orangutan. He's, he's got reddish hair, and uh, you know the same. Song summons him. The same Kong song. Pitting movie monsters against each other, from Frankenstein versus the Mummy to Alien versus Predator, has worked in the past and will no doubt work again. So while I can't work up the morbid degree of connoisseurship required to appreciate this Godzilla, I'm hopeful about the sequels. Perhaps Godzilla vs. Blue Jasmine would hit the spot. Hey, even Abbott and Costello uh, met uh, Frankenstein and... The Mummy. The Mummy too? Unless Magilla Gorilla is available. My heart belongs to Kong. Yeah, well what about Kong and Mighty Joe Young and Magilla Gorilla teaming up? Three apes up against three lizards. Oh my God! Or three, three uh, famous. Uh, don't forget Gamera, the giant turtle. That was that was not Toho Productions. That was uh, somebody else, another company. Gamera is pretty famous. Yeah. Gamera. Uh, well, Godzilla turned heel after a while. In the seventies, Godzilla was a good guy. I. He went from heel to baby face back to heel again. I remember seeing a, I don't know if it was a satire or what, on, but in this video, mm -hmm. Gamera was a spaceship. Well, Gamera can fly, and uh, usually flies with fire coming out of its the holes of its shell. Gamera, Gamera is, that's how he gets Well, around. you know he couldn't have got very far in space with that kind of propulsion. Oh, the monsters <coughs> in Japan can travel, that, the ones that can fly, uh, uh, only Gamera and Mothra have the ability to travel through space and, oh, not, come on. and not breathe air. Uh, uh, Ghidra too, Ghidra, Mothra, and Rodan, no, Ghidra, Mothra, and, and Ga Gamera can enter space. Space, I believe, but Rodan can't. I think Rodan needs the oxygen of Earth. Uh, I don't know how they were able to fly and not breathe in space. But uh, how about you know, Superman? Superman doesn't. No one ever asked that question. Superman. Oh, when how he, did he breathe in space? When he used to uh, change the time by flying around the Earth real yeah. fast and making the Earth go in reverse. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Burger King is scrapping its 40-year-old slogan, Have It Your Way. 
They don't want it. To ha they don't want you to have it your way anymore. In favor of a more personal one, be your way. That's stupid. That is stupid. The chain says the new tagline, which made its first appearance in an online video last month, will be rolled out across the nation. A TV commercial was due to debut on Monday night. Fernando Machado, Burger King Senior Vice President of Global Brand Management, He's an asshole. <clears throat> noted in an interview that Have It Your Way focused only on the transaction. It's just a friggin' hamburger. Why is he reading so much into it? The ability to customize a burger. Customize the crap, yeah. By contrast, he said, Be Your Way is about making a connection it's, it's with a person's greater lifestyle. It's a fucking hamburger with tomato, cheap iceberg lettuce, and a, maybe a slice of processed cheese. They're reading too much into this. He must have a lot of time on his hands. This, uh, or a lot of money to pay a new ad agency. It's ridiculous. It's it's look, Mr. Potato Head. As a child, I had Mr. Potato Head, and we had I had Mrs. Pepperhead. Uh, people don't remember that. No, they don't. Mr. Potato Head was plastic, of course. And uh, I think I think the the nose and the eyes and the ears and everything that you, if you wanted to, you could stick them in a real potato. Yes, you could. But the plastic part of Mr. Potato Head looked like a real potato with the, the nooks and crannies, whatever, whatever the little uh, eye, the little holes. Now it looks like a damn football. Stick with tradition. Sometimes you just gotta stick with tradition. You, there's no replacement for tradition. You know you. You know, it's like uh, other things. You know, I heard a Reese's peanut butter cup originally had real peanut butter in it. Now it's yeah, not peanut any. butter. It, this goes on and on. You know, you gotta, when something works and it's been working. They broke, and, it, and it's been working for decades, leave it alone. I mean, I mean, with, it has to be. with computers and tablets and smartphones, yes. Yes, definitely advance them. Definitely upgrade them. Uh, 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 software, operating systems. Yes, if if you have real changes that make it a better product, I say go for it. Or or it could be the uh, fabric industry, whatever. But, but some things are better left alone. Go ahead. The new slogan was developed with an ad agency. Machado said Burger King hasn't been actively using in the U.S. for some time. Under the latest record, Sprint will have to implement a compliance plan and update regulators on its effects efforts over the next two years. What the hell is that? That has nothing to do with Burger King. Let me guess. This, um, is he a CEO? He calls himself a CEO? Vice President. President. This vice president, Mr. Machado. Mr. Machado, his, this vice president, you think he's just trying to show the shareholders that he's doing some work, that he's doing something for his, for his money? Everything must be new. You cannot have an old product. They got to reinvent the wheel, right? That's correct. That's correct. Change for the sake of okay. change. Not change for the sake of improvement, That's upgrading. Correct. In other words, as my grandfather used to say, total bullshitsky. Total. Total. Okay, that's enough. I got one more, small one. All right, let's bang it out. Small and, then here. and then we'll finish. Should be an interesting. Okay. Petersburg, Kentucky. Kentucky again. An exhibit of a 30-foot fossil skeleton of an allosaurus, which resembles a Tyrannosaurus Rex, is open at a museum that claims dinosaurs lived alongside humans a few thousand years ago. Oh, it sounds like they're defending their uh, the right-wing religious nuts. 
a release from answers in Genesis, the Christian ministry that owns the Creation Museum, said the bones were found in Colorado over 10 years ago. Keeping with its Bible-themed approach, the a museum says the dinosaur died in a worldwide flood about 4,300 years ago. You know what? Uh, for the same uh, uh, tied into this uh, reading, they found fossils in Argentina of a dinosaur that proves that that this specific specific sp uh, species um, actually was the only dinosaur that was not killed off by the great uh, asteroid that hit the Yucatan Peninsula that it actually five million years ago that it was the only species that actually uh, dinosaur well, that survived the the doomsday asteroid as we have shown many times yes. they do not get this stuff from the Bible well they found fossils also somewhere else that 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 the, the largest dinosaurs on record ever discovered the fossils were discovered fairly recently that made the the t-rex and the brontosaurus look small i mean oh, the, yeah. the largest dinosaurs ever on record were recently found that that they they were much bigger than people originally thought uh there's always something new to learn it could be new species it could be species that were, were thought to be extinct and rediscovered you know it's always yes, but something that's new. not what they're trying to do here i know what they're trying to okay. do they're trying to defend their their religious nut cultism idea by, by of the age of the earth by yes. teaching people lies yes saying it comes from the bible but it does not as it's i've shown these. genesis verse uh, chapter one verse two and psalm 104 yeah. verse 30. so these imbeciles they do not support a young earth theory so these imbeciles are insisting that the planet earth is only six thousand years old that god created about six thousand years ago yeah they Daniel Phelps, president of the Kentucky Paleontological Society, said the museum has decided, without doing research, that the dinosaur fossil is evidence of Noah's flood. Scientists say the last dinosaurs roamed the earth more than 60 million years ago. That's scientists, not religious nuts. The Allosaurus was a large carnivore that lived in North America during the late Jurassic period about 150 million years ago. Museum founder Ken Ham said the new exhibit opening on Saturday will help us defend the book of Genesis and expose the scientific problems with evolution. How could they defend any part of the Bible when they do not really know the and Bible? None of what they say is in the, the Bible. In order to defend the opposite. It, in order to defend the Bible, it has to be in the Bible. You have to be in it to win so it. Minute. Yes. Like the lottery commercial. Oh, yeah. Thank you, people. Thank you for joining us for uh, this week's, even though it's belated, better late than never, this week's uh, Uncensored Hard-Hitting Truth. Uh, it is Memorial Day weekend 2014. Have a safe Memorial Day weekend. And, of course, Americans do not celebrate Memorial Memorial Day weekend for what it really is uh -huh. to to uh, remember the the people who have lost their lives in in the history of uh, United States wars, Defending military corporations, military personnel, people who have given their lives for this country, and instead they use it as an excuse to party, to uh, overindulge mostly Ooh. in alcoholic beverages. And that's what they do. And, and to go be suckers, to go to the Jersey Shore or to the New York beaches 
and pay insane prices to be there. That's it. So thank you. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Well, wraps. Uh, in terms, let's get back to food. Oh, jeez. Oh, wraps. Okay. I opened my big stinking mouth. Not wraps in terms of of uh, rap music. I'm no. talking about wraps in terms of tortillas. Yeah. Which I think tortillas. I think tortillas started the whole tradition, the whole uh, um, um, craze of using wraps as a sandwich. Okay, and, and in China they call it mushu pancake, which is a wheat tortilla, not a okay. dumpling, as opposed to the corn tortillas. Right. So uh, actually. They're very tasty. Uh, 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 they're lower in carbohydrate than making a bread out of a roll or a sandwich. You know, uh, it's a very convenient, easy way to make a sandwich. You just simply put your ingredients in and roll it up, and you're good to go. And you can you can press the sides. The I mean the ends. I'm sorry. Squeeze the ends so the ingredients doesn't fall out, as opposed to the two slices of bread. You know. It's really, it's it's a great product. The the wrap, the flour tortilla, whatever you want to call them. Of course, in America, the wrap costs a lot more money than if you would buy uh, 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 corn or flour tortillas in a Latin market. It's much more money because they make it like it's a new invention. See, you see or the exotic. You see, yeah, or exotic. You see how American food industry is, the American business always makes it out like they invented something uh, new and different. It's not new, they just gave it a different name. Hype, hype, hype. Hype, it's all sales hype. And they do it in the fitness industry. I, I cannot stand people that take something that's been around for hundreds of years or thousands of years and hype it up and make it like they invented it by giving it another name okay and I can go into detail about that oh. you know what I mean like the mace bell or the club bell as opposed to Indian clubs and Persian meals you know hyping it up like you invented something new how and different the, how about the cowboy and putting a patent that see that's oh. the whole thing they slap a patent on it there you go I'm sorry what would you say what about the cowbell? Cowbell? You mean the ding ring 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 ring? Why? The cowbell is still a cowbell. Yeah. All right. So what's so? The other things are bells, bells, so a cowbell too. What the boy? You know. Well, I don't understand. The cowbell. I just thought I'd put it in there. Listen, a cowbell is a cowbell. These are. If for those of you that are, have never been introduced to my levity bells. These are actually old-fashioned jiggle balls, I'm sorry, a jingle bells, see, that I say, that I say after the rope deteriorated. Well, they belong to Rudolph. All right? They belong to Rudolph. Screw Rudolph. Rudolph made delicious uh, uh, venison pot roast in my pressure cooker. All right? All right, levity bells. Good. Levity. Every time we say something funny, I ring them. All right, say goodbye to these jabronis. Hi, people. All right, don't drink too much. To, well, you could drink if you have a designated driver, but definitely eat a lot of barbecue. All right, bye bye. This has been a Mega Life Twenty One production.